Hey everybody, I'm JJ. You're watching Reality Survival. And today what I want to do is show you a very, very simple uh, solar generator setup, kind of. I mean, it's not really a generator, but just a solar charging setup uh, with, with an um, inverter attached to it. So whatever you want to call that, solar power system, let's say. Okay. All right. So we're going to, I'm going to try to keep this to the, like the simplest level possible, mostly to, you know, keep my brain straight, but also just to make it easy to understand. Okay. So this is a hundred watt panel right here, solar panel. And what we have down here is two components. So the first component is the charge controller. That's a solar charge controller. This is a very cheap one. I think I paid 20 or $25 for it on Amazon. And then we have a um, 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from WattCycle. And um, this is a just your basic lithium iron phosphate battery, okay? You could really use any battery, but I went ahead and used this watt cycle one. I'll leave a link to it uh, in the description below. You can also get that on Amazon. I'll have the uh, solar charge controller down there as well, as well as any of the tools and materials that I use to put this together. So this, this system right here at what you're looking at is just a battery charger. It's a solar battery charger. Okay. You have the solar panel. You have the wires that come from there. These are MC4 connectors. They don't have to be MC4 connectors, but these are really good to use. Um, your power in comes right here where you can see on the panel, positive, negative. That's a little picture of the solar panel. Okay, so positive, negative. And then we've got the power out in the middle going to the battery, positive and negative. And then that just comes around and circles up and charges the battery. So you could take in a power outage or anything like that, then you could take uh, and charge batteries like this during the day when it's nice and sunny. And then in the evening, you get you a little inverter like this. And I'll just go ahead and, and hook, hook this up real quick. Turn it on. Very simple, all we gotta do is hook up to the battery, hit the on switch. Okay, it comes on. And then I plug in a load to it. And then you can see, I can see, there we go. We got power, okay? So that's the base, the most simple, the most basic solar, you know, power generation station that you could have. You've got to have your panel. You got to have your charge controller. You got to have a battery to store some energy. And then you need to have an inverter um, to be able to uh, generate AC power. And that's what that's doing. Now, this little charger does have the ability to generate uh, an output of 5 volts DC or 2 amps. You can use off of those two ports right there, uh, just straight DC power. So if you only needed DC, you, could, you wouldn't even have to have the inverter. Um, but that's not, you know, very much. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's just a very, very basic, easy setup. And it's just not hard to do at all. You know, I mean, you just put some ring terminals on some 10 gauge wire. And, you know, with when you're using this as a small 600 watt, a GNDL 600 watt inverter, you know, I just use the cables that were sent with it. That's fine. Under a thousand watts, you can probably use the cables that are sent with them. Over a thousand, up to 2,000, 3,000, you probably want to use some you know, heavier duty cable than what they generally send with them because they, they kind of tend to undersize them. Um, so, again, 
this stuff is not super super complicated at all it's it's pretty basic and I just kind of wanted to, to give you guys an idea. You know, the one thing that you do want to do is you want to make sure that the charge controller that you get is rated for the amperage that your solar panels put out, okay? Um, and for the amperage and, or the voltage. And you got to make sure that, you know, that stuff all matches up. That's pretty simple to do as well. Just look at the, the range of, you know, what they will accept and make sure they match up. So this is pretty much it. I did want to show you real quick uh, how important. Okay, so if you see here, we're getting 4.1, something like that. I'm gonna put my hand in front of it. Look at it drop. Oh, it changed, hang on. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hand in front of it. It drops down to 1.5 amps, just with my hand right there. Um, so when you're putting solar panels out, you really, really need to make sure that there's no shading on them at all. It just doesn't take very much. Let me try it again. So if I just put my hand that far, it's already down an amp. So look, just that little bit is dropping it uh, an amp. So you don't want to do that. Um, these systems are not waterproof or anything like that. So you know, you don't want to have them, uh, you don't want to have them outside in the rain and that kind of thing. And there's not going to be any, any sun out when it's raining probably anyway. So you want to make sure you protect them. As you can see, I've got these tucked up underneath here just to keep the sun from beating down on them and, you know, overheating the battery and, and all that kind of thing. Um, this battery has the, um, um, overcharge protection or the overheating protection, the overcurrent protection, all that kind of stuff. Um, you can look at the, the link down below to see all the spe specific specifications on it and the protections that it has in the, in the battery management system. And then same thing with the GNDL, um, inverter. It's all got its own, you know, charging and discharging, um, connections and everything. But the reason that I wanted to put together, sorry, uh, the reason I wanted to put together a very simple system like this is because I wanted to put together a, a group of items that I could fold up and fit into like a Faraday can, Faraday cage kind of thing. And so that was kind of what I was shooting for. And I, I think that I can fit it in the ammo, the big ammo can that I did. I've got to I've got to measure the panel. I may have to get a different panel if it won't fit, but I know all these other things will fit in there. And uh, so that's what I was looking for. Just a very basic, simple setup that I could put back so it would be protected, um, you know, from an EMP or anything like that. And God forbid anything like that should happen. Um, it's an LED bulb. I'm not, it's just not going to get hot, but I guess it's just habit. <laughs> think about it burning through um but anyway yeah this this is the this is the most simple setup that you can do as far as i know i don't i don't know how it could possibly get any simpler hopefully that is a clear explanation for you guys you got four basic components you've got the panel the charge controller the battery and the inverter and at, at its most basic level you know, if you're staying below a thousand watts, that that's probably all that you need. If you start getting into the higher wattages, you know, you probably want to put some breakers and relays and you know that kind of stuff in there. And you can see my other video that I did on that, uh, just for you know a little bit more protections. Um, and you know, you can monitor your voltage on your battery at the charge controller, so it's you know reading what the battery is there. So you really don't have to have a shunt or anything. So you know. I think that a little setup like this, uh, 600 watts is, you know, not a lot of juice, but, um, you know, it would be enough to do whatever other stuff, you know, I mean, just, just some basic limited things, you know, so maybe charging other types of batteries or, you know, whatever, whatever you needed to do. So anywho, I uh, hope this is helpful. And if you guys got any questions, stick them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer for you. Take care, and don't forget to live the six Ps. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe.